down to your body language, how you use your nonverbal communication. And no doubt, people have told you for ages that body language is super important, but perhaps no one has shown you why. So what I want to do right now is play a short video clip for you off a speaker. Now, I've taken away the sound because I want you to focus on his body language. And as you're watching this clip, ask yourself, what is the speaker's body language communicating to me? How does he make you feel? So let me bring up the clip. I'll show you it. And then you can ponder that as you are watching. The speaker in question is Bill Gates. It's Bill Gates. Let's see what Bill Gates has got. Remember, there's no sound for this clip. Just focus on his body language. I'll play it for about 20 seconds. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. How did he make you feel? Now, I've asked a lot of audiences this in the past, and many people respond with, he looks anxious. He made me feel a bit disinterested. It wasn't very engaging. And unfortunately, there are reasons for this. And I want to point out some of the reasons why you may have found Bill's presentation there not very interesting. The first thing I want you to notice from a body language perspective is that he's standing behind this big lectern here. Now, the problem with that is it immediately cuts off half of his body language. So he's immediately less dynamic. He can't move around as much. He's stuck in one spot. As I play the clip through, the other thing that I want you to notice is that during his presentation, he does a lot of this, looking down. Now, when you're looking down at notes during a presentation, it's detrimental for a couple of reasons. Number one, it requires you to constantly break eye contact with the audience, losing a connection with them. And number two, it requires you to think during your presentation. And when you're thinking, you're not being present with the audience in the room. And you can see that again on Bill's facial expression during this. Quite a lot of the time, he looks quite tense. He looks quite worried. He doesn't necessarily look like he wants to be there. And again, that affects your interpretation of how engaging his presentation is. And then the last thing I'll point out as I play through this clip is that there are a distinct lack of gestures. Right now, Bill is just being a talking head. And there is a lot of research that indicates that gestures and the amount that you use will affect how engaging you are. TEDx speakers who gesture more in their presentations tend to get more views than those that don't. There's a reason for it. This is far more engaging than being a talking head. So that's some of the reasons why body language can sometimes not work out and why we can think someone looks nervous, why they look anxious, why they're not very interesting. What I want to do now is show you another speaker, a, a different speaker. You'll know him. And I want you again to watch this short clip and ask yourself, how is this speaker's body language making me feel? So let me show you the clip. And this time we're going to be looking at Steve Jobs. Same rules. There's no sound on this clip. Focus on his body language. How does it make you feel? I'll play it for 20 seconds. Okay, that's about the end of the clip there. Now, how did his body language make you feel? I would imagine very different from Bill Gates. Steve Jobs, he was a lot more engaging there. Most people who I show this clip to say, yeah, his body language was far better. I found that far more interesting. Let's explore why that might be the case. 
So if I bring the clip back to the start, the first thing I want you to notice is that Steve Jobs is not behind a lectern. There's one right there, but he has chosen not to stand behind it. And what does that do? Well, it allows him to move around the room and be more dynamic, but it also means that the audience can see more of his body language. The other thing which immediately strikes you about this clip is how many gestures Steve Jobs uses. Look at this big open palm gesture here, welcoming the audience in. This is far more captivating than being still and static. Furthermore, you'll notice that his eye contact is mainly always directed towards the audience. There's no notes here. So he's looking at them, he's connecting with them, he's being more present. And what you will also see from a facial expression point of view is it actually looks like he's enjoying himself. He's smiling during the presentation, emoting more. And all of these reasons contribute for to you finding him more engaging than Bill Gates. So the question you have to ask yourself is, does my body language look more like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs? Now, if it's Bill Gates, you might have a little bit of work to do there because you don't have the most engaging style currently. But listen, the solution is not just to become Steve Jobs. We don't want to be doing that. You want to remain your own authentic self, keeping and maintaining your own unique style. But what we can do is learn from great speakers like Steve Jobs and others and perhaps take on board some of their body language skills and apply them to our own style if they fit. 